How's it going everyone, it is Pangino here and in this video I'm bringing you the updated step-by-step -step guide to clear your Nvidia GPU shader cache. This could potentially help fix many issues you could be experiencing on your Nvidia GPU, such as FPS drops, FPS stutters, lower than expected performance, graphical issues, or if your system isn't running like how it did a few days or a few weeks ago or before a certain update to a game, the first thing I would do on any of these systems is to clear the GPU shader cache. It's quick, easy and convenient, it's highly effective if you are experiencing issues and in this video, I'm going to be covering two quick and easy methods that you can use to clear your NVIDIA GPU shader cache now and in the future. If you've watched previous videos on this in the past, some of the locations of the shader cache have changed. So this is the latest video to get the best results from this. This works across the board on all NVIDIA GPUs, from older GTX GPUs all the way up to the latest and greatest RTX GPUs on desktop and on laptop. So regardless of what NVIDIA GPU you have, both methods will work completely fine on your system. Get Windows activated for a great price with who keys. Use the links below for Windows 11, Windows 10 or Office. Apply code PAN20 at checkout for an additional 25% off. Secure payment options including PayPal are available. Once complete, just paste the key to activate Windows and remove the watermark. Windows 10 keys can also upgrade to Windows 11. Use the links in the description below and thank you to who keys for sponsoring. There are two methods you can use to clear your Nvidia GPU shader cache. Method one is the manual option of going in and deleting these shader files yourself, which is very quick and easy to do and I'll be covering that option first. Method 2 is a new automatic process which you are able to utilize through DDU or Display Driver Uninstaller which will automatically clear out all of the shader files. Both options are great, both options will achieve the same result so you can go with method 1 or method 2. I would highly recommend that you find out how to use both methods though from this video so moving forward you can go with the option that suits you best for your regular system maintenance. Whether you're going with option 1 or option 2 the preparation steps are the exact same. First of all jump over to your desktop on Windows 11 or Windows Windows 10, right click on your desktop, go to show more options and open the Nvidia control panel. If you do not have the Nvidia control panel, you can utilize the Nvidia app by going to your task tray in the bottom, right clicking on the Nvidia logo and selecting Nvidia app. The first thing we need to do is temporarily disable the shader cache from being used. If you're using the NVIDIA control panel, go to manage 3D settings, scroll down towards the bottom to shader cache size, go to the drop down menu and set this to disabled temporarily. Then select apply in the bottom right. Exit out of the NVIDIA control panel for now. If you do not have the control panel and you would rather use the NVIDIA app, Inside of the app, go to the graphics section on the left hand side, go to global settings at the top, scroll down to shader cache size, and again, set this to disabled. Apply that option, exit out of the NVIDIA app. For the best results when using method 1 or method 2, I would highly recommend that you reboot your system into safe mode. When you boot into Windows safe mode, the Nvidia driver isn't being used anymore, which means the shaders aren't being used, which means we can delete them without issue. If you go to delete your shaders whilst using the standard boot of Windows with the shaders in use, you'll more than likely find that you won't be able to delete most of those files as they are in use. So for the best results to clear all of the GPU shaders, which is what you want to do, I would highly recommend that you reboot into safe mode. It's incredibly quick, simple and easy to do. Starting off with the steps for method 1. In Windows 11 or Windows 10, go to your keyboard, look at the left hand side, press and hold the left shift key. Press your Windows button, right click on the power button and select restart. Once you're met with this screen, you can let go of the left shift key. We then need to go over to the troubleshoot section, then down to advanced options. Go to startup settings, then select restart. Inside of the startup settings page, select option 4 by pressing number 4 on the keyboard to enable safe mode. Log in as you typically would. For method 1, inside of safe mode to manually delete these shader cache files yourself, go down to the windows button, go to the search bar and search for run, then press enter. Inside of the run box, we're going to search for percent, local app data, percent, then press ok. Alternatively, if this doesn't open or you can't open run, go down to your windows file explorer, Go to the top to the navigation bar, remove all data from the navigation bar, then search for percent, local, app data, percent, and press enter. Proceed to scroll down to the end section where you'll be able to find the NVIDIA folder. Inside of here, depending on your GPU, you may have more or less folders than me. The folders we're interested in clearing the cache files from are labeled as cache. Start with the DX cache folder if you have it. Highlight and select all files within inside of this folder, right click and select delete. When that folder is cleared, go back, go to the GL cache folder, highlight and select all folders and files within inside of here. If there are quite a lot, you can simply select one of the folders, then select Ctrl and A on your keyboard to select all, right click and select delete. 
Go back to the NVIDIA folder again, then go inside of any and all other folders which are labelled cache. When those folders are completely cleared, we can then go up to the top to the navigation bar to App Data. Inside of the App Data folder, instead of going to Local, we're going to go to Local Low. Go inside of the NVIDIA folder in here, and again repeat that process. Go inside of any of the cache folders, highlight and select any of the files within inside of those folders, delete and clear those from your system. Once that's completed, exit out. We can now go to the bottom to our Windows button, right click and select restart to boot back into the standard Windows mode. Log back into your Windows desktop as you typically would. And those are the primary steps for method one now complete. Moving on to method two. To automatically clean your GPU shader cache, we're going to make use of the relatively new option found in DDU or Display Driver Uninstaller. If you're familiar with this program, if you download one of the newer versions of it, the option to just clean your GPU shader cache will be found in there, which you can use for any GPU from Nvidia, AMD, or Intel. If you don't have DDU, head over to Google and search for Display Driver Uninstaller. You can either go with the guru3d.com link or the wagnardsoft.com link. I'm going to be going to the official source of wagnardsoft.com. The version at the top should be the latest, so select this option. Scroll down slightly further to click here for download and support. Scroll down towards the bottom where you can then find the DDU installer or the portable version. I'm going to be using the portable version, but both will work fine. Click the option you want to download, put that on your desktop, select save. Once it's completed, double click on the DDU zip, then select extract. You should then have the DDU folder on your desktop. To get the best results from this, just like in method one, I would highly recommend that you reboot into Windows safe mode so DDU can clear all of the shaders, even the ones that are currently in use. Find and hold the shift key on the left side of your keyboard, go down to your Windows button, right click on the power option and select restart. Continue to hold the left shift key until you're met with this screen. Once you're inside of choose an option, go to troubleshoot, then down to advanced options. Find the startup settings panel and select this. Go down to restart. Under startup settings, we're going to be selecting option four. So press number four on your keyboard to enable safe mode. Log in as you typically would. Inside of Windows safe mode, go to the DDU folder, which you downloaded earlier, then boot display driver uninstaller and just simply exit out of the front page. Go to the right hand side to select a device go to GPU. You then want to select the GPU you are currently using. For the purposes of this video, we're using an NVIDIA GPU, so select NVIDIA. Once that's selected, go to the left-hand side to the new option of clean shader cache only. Select this option. It should just take a few seconds, and once completed, just simply select yes. And that's it. All of your NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel GPU shaders have now been cleared from your system that quickly. All we now need to do is go to the bottom to our Windows button, right click on the power button and select restart to boot back into normal Windows. For those of you that might be interested, I did double check and verify that the automatic option found inside of DDU to clean the shader cache only does in fact clean all shaders from all of the locations that we used in the manual method. Nothing is skipped. So both options are just as effective as each other. Now, whether you have utilized method one or method two, once you've logged back into normal Windows, all there is left to do is to clear the shader cache utilizing one last quick step and re-enable the shader cache on our GPU. Navigate down to the Windows button once again, this time searching for disk cleanup. Open the disk cleanup utility, select your local disk C drive and select OK. For the purpose of this video though, the only option we're actually interested in is labeled DirectX shader cache. You want to select this option, go to the bottom, and select OK to delete that from your system. Once it's completed, it will automatically close out. All there is left to do now is to re-enable the shader cache in the NVIDIA settings. So go inside of the NVIDIA app or the control panel, depending on which you used. For the NVIDIA control panel, that's found under Manage 3D Settings. Scroll to the bottom, find Shader Cache Size, and set this to the option you were previously using, or in my recommendation, I would set this to either 100 gigabytes or just go with unlimited. Once you've selected the new option, go to the bottom right to apply and exit out of the control panel. If you're using the NVIDIA app, go to the graphics panel on the left-hand side, go to global settings at the top, scroll down to shader cache, set this to the option you want to go with, in my case, that's unlimited. And once that's applied, everything is now successfully completed and you've cleared your GPU shader cache. When you're booting into some of your favorite games, if the game you're booting into happens to have a shader pre-compilation step, I would highly recommend that you let this process complete without tabbing out, changing graphic settings or interrupting it. Some games do not have the shader pre-compilation steps and in those games you might experience a tiny amount of stutter when you first boot into the game as everything is being loaded for the first time and those shaders are being cached. But once that's completed you should then be back to silky smooth gameplay with the performance that you expect. So please let me know which method you're going to be using moving forward. Will you be using method 1 or will you be using the automatic option with method 2? Let me know of your thoughts on this video if you happen to 
have any other tips or tricks, please do let us all know in that comment section down below. Thank you ever so much for taking the time to watch this video, and I'll see you in the next one.